Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps. Today we will be understanding one of the important concept in Kubernetes which is the difference between readiness probe versus liveness probe. First of all, the meaning of probe is health check. Health check of what? Health check of your application. In order to understand better this concept, let me take one of the node machine. So inside of a node, there will be a pod. Here pod contains one or more containers. So here container is nothing but running instance of your application. So whenever the users send some request to this application during the initial stage of your running application, the users may experience 5xx status codes or your application is not going to be rendered. But after some time, your application is rendered and the users get successful 2xx status codes. If you observe the time that has taken by your application in order to render is 5 seconds. So during this 5 seconds, your application is not able to serve the request. This is not only with web applications, this can be with microservices or APIs as well. The reasons why your application is not able to render it during this five seconds could be loading of configuration files or your application not connected to any database. How can we ensure that we are not sending request to unhealthy applications or the containers? That's where readiness probe comes into the picture. Now let us understand what is meant by this readiness probe. Readiness probe checks if a container is ready to serve requests. If it fails, the pod is removed from the service endpoints and won't receive traffic until it's ready again. So what are these service endpoints? Service endpoints are nothing but pod IP addresses along with the port that is associated with a service. If any of the pod, for example, if the pod 2 is having any problem, so this pod 2 is removed from the service endpoints. Let me take one of the manifest file where the kind is pod. If you observe, there is a readiness prop section under the container named web app. Let's explore each and every field of this readiness prop. First is the HTTP GET which specifies an HTTP check. Path is set to slash which is the endpoint where readiness check will be performed. So on the application or the container. Port is set to 80 which corresponds to the container port. Initial delay seconds field specifies that the prop should start 5 seconds after the container starts. Period second specifies that the prop will be repeated every 10 seconds after the initial delay. Let's understand some of the advantages of this readiness prop. One is zero downtime deployments, improved reliability and better load balancing. When we really need to use this readiness prop, so we can use readiness probe whenever application is running but not immediately ready to serve users. This is about readiness probe. Similarly, now let us understand about liveness probe. So liveness probe checks if a container is still running properly. If it fails, the container inside the pod is killed and restarted by Kubernetes to restore it to healthy state. Let me take one of the manifest file of kind pod in Kubernetes. If you observe, there is a command where it first creates a temporary file named healthy under the temp folder. Then after 30 seconds, it deletes that file and keeps the container running for 10 more minutes. Now the liveness probe checks every 5 seconds starting 5 seconds after the container launches. It tries to run cat for healthy file under the temp folder. If the file exists, the probe succeeds. 
if not the container is considered as unhealthy after 30 seconds the file is deleted meaning the next prop will fail and the kubernetes will restart the container automatically one of the main advantage of liveness prop is automatic recovery and when do we really need to use this liveness prop is we can use liveness prop whenever application might stuck or crash but the container doesn't exit on its own then we can go with the liveness prop that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications thank you